the cow hitch, the pedigree cow hitch and the cow hitch variant. Hello everybody, welcome back and yes today we're getting three knots for the price of one. Simply for the fact is they are so closely related we might as well put all three into one video. Now this the cow hitch which is the middle one here is also known as a ring hitch or a lark's head or a girth knot. So if you've heard those terms before it relates to this middle one here. So anyway what I'm going to do today is first of all I'm going to untie my little snake's wedding here and then let's get knotting and tie these three knots. So the first method I'm going to show you how to tie this is in the loop end method. So if you've got say for example a continuous loop you can actually use this method for tying the cow hitch into that loop and also the way of by actually tying it in the loop end method if say for example we've got like here we've got a stanchion where we've got access to the end of the stanchion and we want to put our cow hitch round that this is the way that you would probably tie this. Now as you can see I've got my rope cord and I've centered it and my working end and standing end are going down the bottom there towards me. Now the first thing that I do is I get hold of both sides of my cordage like this and all I do is just fold it over and then as I fold it over I bring it so that these two here are running down the middle. And what have I created? I've created a pair of ears. How proud am I? Cut the Bugs Bunny ears or something like that there. So anyway, once you've created your ears or your smiley face with the big ears, the next thing that we do is where these two, it crosses over here. So I want to get hold of it at this point here. So get hold of it at that point there and get hold of the two ears and push them to the back so they meet behind. There you go. And what we've done here is we've created a loop and we've squashed our two ears behind there. And now that we've done that, we have now tied the cow hitch. And so all I need to do is, usually we bring the knot to the stanchion, but in this case I bring the stanchion to the knot and I pass my cow hitch over the stanchion and then as I pull up tight on it, you can see now that that is nice and secure and providing I've got the strain on both these, these bits of the rope here, so long as I'm pulling equally on those, that is not coming undone, that is not shifting anywhere. But just be aware that if say for example you just have the tension on one rope, you can see now that is starting to unravel. So that makes the knot a little bit insecure if you're only pulling on one of the two leads coming out the bottom here. We could, if we wanted to, tie it off at this point with a couple of half hitches, something like that. So if I just say, for example, get this end here, put a half hitch in, and then now that I've put that extra half hitch in, that will all strangle up nice and tight and we've now got ourselves a really nice secure knot in that cell sense. However, um, oh just a sec before we go on to the however bit of things let's show you now how to tie the cow hitch if say for example we don't have access to the end of our stanchion. So in other words on either side here you can see here I don't have access and so we need to tie our cow hitch on our actual stanchion here. So the first thing to tie this knot, all I do is get a little bit of cordage, green end is my working end, my standing end is running down towards me and the first thing that I do is just pass my working end over the stanchion, in fact let's go a little bit wider on this, there we go, so now we've got the working end is now passing over the stanchion and you can see here now there it is my working end we now pass the working end over the standing end and then bring it around the back of the stanchion again and then the next thing we do is where it's coming around the back of the stanchion 
It wants to follow the standing end. It wants to run parallel to the standing end and down through that loop that we've created there. So as I pass that through, I then pull it through and you can see now here on my stanchion, we have now tied the cow hitch. Okay, so that's the cow hitch. Now, as I said earlier, the cow hitch, we could, if we wanted to, put a half hitch on our working end here to make it a little bit more secure. But you can see on a slippery rope, it doesn't hold very well. So to make it more secure, what we can do is tie the pedigree cow hitch. So anyway, I'll just untie that and let's tie the pedigree cow hitch. So once again, there's my working end. Green end is the working end. And we're gonna tie the cow hitch as we did before. But this time we're gonna put an extra little piece in that turns it into the pedigree cow hitch. So the first thing I do is I take my working end and I pass it over my stanchion and bring it underneath there. Once I've done that, the next thing I do is I get the working end and I cross it over my standing end. And then once I've crossed over my standing end, I take the working end around the back and then bring it down so that it goes, goes parallel to the standing end and pull it through. And as you can see, once again, we have tied ourselves the cow hitch. Now, to turn the cow hitch into a pedigree cow hitch, all we do now is I'm gonna take just a little bit more cordage through like that. And then once I've done that, I then take my working end and I take it back up. And what I'm gonna do is pass it underneath those two there at that point. So take it back, pass it underneath those two, underneath both of them, and then pull up nice and snug. And you can see now here, what we've done is we have now produced the pedigree cow hitch and that is nice and secure and locked in place. Now, if you wanna know what to do with the cow hitch, check out the description below and I'll give you more information with regards to the cow hitch, the pedigree cow hitch and the cow hitch variant. So anyway, I'm now going to untie this and let's get on and tie the cow hitch variant. In the first two that we did, we tied the cow hitch in the same way to start with. And then on the pedigree cow hitch, we just finished it with a little different variation. However, with the cow hitch variant, in this one, we start it slightly different. Now, what, I, what I'm gonna do is, there's my working end again, throw my working end over my stanchion, and then when I've thrown it over my stanchion, it's exactly the same as before, but now it changes. Where I've thrown it over the stanchion, I'm gonna take a little bit more over, I've thrown it over, I then take my working end and I pass it over my standing end and then bring it round and pass it through that loop that we've created there. Now you can also see where I've passed it through, I've created another loop just at the top there. And what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit more because it is slightly more cord hungry, just take a little bit more through. And now that I've done that, I then take my working end and I bring it round so we create another loop on top of the one underneath. So take it round, so it goes over the top and then bring it to the back of my stanchion, bring it over the top of the stanchion. And then the next thing I want to do is where we stack those loops one, two on top of each other, you see there one, two, we stack them on top of each other I then take my working end and pass it down through those two loops and then pull it up nice and tight on all the cords. Just pull it up so it's all become snug. And you can see now here, we have created a cow hitch here, but it's going through two turns of cordage. And as we pull up on one, those two cords, those two loops are gradually strangling these two here and therefore 
The, this is the cow hitch variant, which is just that little bit more secure than the pedigree cow hitch, which is a little bit more secure than just the cow hitch. But anyway, so that is your three knots in one. And once again, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Take care then. Bye-bye.